we're looking at the uh, various number of minutes that a bus can potentially be late. So it's n uh, sometimes it's on time, but it's never late more than four minutes. Um, at least during the experience of that, that I've had. So 53% I calculated that it's on time. Well, that means X is zero. So zero minutes late. One minute late, two minutes late, three minutes late, four minutes late. Here's a probability histogram. We're looking at the minutes that it's late versus the probability for that particular number of minutes being late. So 53% chance that you're zero minutes, the bus is zero minutes late, 25% that it's one minute late, and so on. And what, the, what this reveals is that it gets less and less likely that the bus is more and more late. So it's pretty likely that it's on time, but, but you know, as um, the minutes pass, it's more and more uh, probable that the bus will get there very soon. Um, find and interpret the expected value of the random variable. Well, the expected value will be basically the minutes per trip, I guess you could say. The average minutes per trip, every time you go to the bus, on average, how, how, how many minutes is it late? Well, if you think about this, this, this adds up to 1 or 100%. So if you treat this as 100 different instances, 53 times it's, it's 0 minutes late. 25 times it's one minute late, 18 times it's two minutes late, three times it's three minutes late, one time it's four minutes late. So if you figure out the total number of minutes that, that, the, that the bus has ever been late for and divide it by 100, that will give you the average. But the simpler way, rather than to have to go through that piece by piece, is just to take the percentage of time times the number of minutes that it's late, plus the percentage or the probability times the number of minutes late, and so on. Um, and that's the same thing, and try it, that's the same thing as adding up the total number of minutes that, you'd be, that the bus would be late over 100 different trips, if these percentages hold, and then dividing it by 100. Well, when you divide it by 100, all you do is you make decimals out of all the numbers. But if you prefer to do it that way, go for it. And so now we calculate this, and so I have this all entered in, just going to enter a space here, plus sign, and we get 0.74. So the expected value is 0 0.74, and our units are minutes per trip, because this is an average. We took 100 trips, so to speak, and the total number of minutes that it was late got divided by the 100 trips, and so on average we're 0.7 minutes late or on average, I should say, the bus is 0 0.74 minutes late.